What is going on, investors? Hopefully, you guys are doing well out there. Time to talk about advanced micro devices, better known as AMD. So, the AMD is right up there with Intel and NVIDIA and some of these other chip makers out there that are just on the cutting edge of a lot of this stuff. And you see, over the last year, this stock is up 87%. Over the last five years, Oh my goodness, this stock's up 4,340%. So just absolutely phenomenal growth coming out of AMD. Now, you might wonder, can this stock continue to run? Is it overvalued? Well, let's take a look, you know, let's like take a look really quickly at a price to sales ratio. You're at 12.7. Obviously, that's high for this company over the last three years, but they are in a growing market. We see here for uh, full year 2021, they're expecting revenue growth of 37%. So we're going to jump over to the numbers, take a look how much they grew this year, and then take a look at the 37%, see if that makes sense. And then from a chart perspective, we'll jump into this one. If this pulls back into a couple zones that we have here, I think this is a stone cold, no brainer type buy, in my opinion, with AMD. So let's take a look at the numbers. We've got three months ended here. It looks like we've got quarter over quarter. This is the most recent quarter here in December. And then we've got year over year. So this is last year. This is this year. And then we've got our year end year over year here as well. We see here. So our revenue grew nicely. I mean, grew nicely quarter over quarter, grew nicely year over year year. So our gross profit, we made 945. So we weren't at, even at a billion dollars gross profit with this company, but we ticked up to 1.2 last quarter. Now all the way up to 1.45. So just phenomenal growth for the full year. Take a look at this. We went from 2.8 billion all the way up to $4.3 billion. No wonder this stock has just been absolutely on it. Fire. Now, take a look. Gross margin, just staying rock steady. You'd love to see that, especially in the environment we're in. It's a little tricky, but, you know, 44, 45% gross margin, you'd like to see that stay the same. Now, from a net, let's just come all the way down. So they obviously got costs. They got research development, marketing costs. They've got other stuff that happens in here, a little bit of interest expense, things like that. That Let's come down here to net income. Now, net income blew up. Take a look at this. Last quarter, we were at 390. The previous year, we were at 170, it went all the way up to 1.7 billion. So you might be asking yourself, well, why is the stock down in the after hours when we literally just blew up our net income? Like it was just phenomenal. Well, look, they have this income tax benefit. So they had intent tax benefit that I think you know, maybe some kind of a, a sale on an asset or something that they were able to recognize in the quarter. But so a lot of this net income was because of this tax benefit. It's not going to reoccur. It may reoccur for a quarter or two, but in the long run, this is not related to the business. That's why you probably want to analyze AMD from an operating income perspective and not really factor in this. And well, this income tax benefit is great, right? But we can take a look, we went from 348 up to 570. That's still phenomenal. And just quarter over quarter, we went from 450 up to 570. We see for the year, we basically doubled our operating income from 631 up to 137, $1.37 billion. Okay. From an earnings per share basis, $2 and six cents for the whole year, a dollar. You notice, see how good this income tax benefit was a dollar 45 in the quarter. They're normally earning in that 30 to 40, 50 cent range. So just a phenomenal quarter from that perspective. Now the balance sheet, everything, this is crystal clean balance sheet. Okay. They've got some cash here. They've got some nice assets. Okay. Liabilities. We do have a just a small a smidgen amount of long-term debt. In fact, they paid it down a little bit. I mean, this is nothing uh, compared to a lot of companies that we look at. Even really healthy companies like Microsoft and Apple have way more debt than this. So everything looks really good from the balance sheet perspective. And th this company is just really, really well run. And so I can see why the stock chart has just been looking beautiful. Now, let's talk about where we can potentially buy MD. It's basically popped up into this range. We popped up up over these highs and we're kind of dancing around any pullback to this line now notice that this line was resistance here it was resistance here but then once we broke it on a solid green candle boy it's kind of off to races came back here and touched at 87 dollars we'll call this 87 88 dollars any pullback in amd to the 88 dollar range in my opinion is a buying opportunity for this stock 
Further down from that, I put an intermediate line at about, we'll call that 80. I'll just bump this up to 80 to make it a round number. $80 a share as well. And further down, you get a broader market sell-off, something like that. You could see a stock like this slide. I think you might want to put it on your list because anywhere down here, so we'll bump this up to 75, just kind of round these numbers off. So right around $75 a share, in my opinion, would also be a buying opportunity. But I think your first opportunity that has, I wouldn't say a high probability, but this has a strong probability, you getting back into this 80, I would call it 88, $89 range. Anywhere in this range, in my opinion, probably a buying opportunity for AMD. If you're like me, you got a couple shares, add a couple shares, add a share or two. Further down here, I would go I'll be a little more aggressive. Maybe you're doing five, 10 shares, depending on the size of your portfolio. And then further down from that, you probably are unloading a full position into that. So that was AMD. This stock has run really hard, but I think there's still room here. Okay. Is it overvalued from a PE ratio? Is it overvalued from some sense? Yes, but they're growing so quickly and the market they're in is growing so rapidly. And I think they're going to capture a large percentage of it. Obviously, uh, you know, Intel and NVIDIA, th those companies are going to get their fair share too. But AMD is doing a really nice job. And then from a balance sheet perspective, just financially, this one looks really, really clean to me. And so I think this is a solid investment going forward. That was AMD. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. We'll be back again soon. Good luck with your investments.